Hi everybody, Jim Brinke here. In today's video, I'm going to be painting another ruby-throated hummingbird. And because of the fact that it took over 20 minutes to paint in real time, I decided to use time-lapse to speed it up a little because I didn't think anybody would want to sit through tw over 25 minutes worth of uh, watching me paint. So what I'm going to be doing is uh, I'm working on Arsha's watercolor paper. I'm using only four brushes. They're Robert Simmons Sapphire and it's a 3 8 inch angle brush and a number 10, number 6, and number 1 round brush. The paints I use are Da Vinci watercolors. Um, the colors I'm using today are Hooker's Green Deep, Mauve, Gamboge, Alizarin Crimson, and I think that's about all I'll be using today. So, anyway, we'll begin our painting and see where we go. Now, I, I, uh, I'm doing videos every week now because I've been getting a few requests for that. So, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing a drawing video every week, which will come out on Friday and then a watercolor video which will come out on either Monday or Tuesday and with the holidays usually popping up on Mondays it's, uh, when the holidays are there it'll be on a Tuesday otherwise the watercolor video will be done on uh, Monday and uh, so if you like what you see here uh, and you'd like to see more of it please subscribe to my channel so I know that uh, what I'm doing is of interest to a lot of people or two people and I will be producing more videos if there's something you in particular you'd like to see uh, leave a comment below and with the request of something you'd like to see. Now, <coughs> excuse me, I'm still have a cold. I'm uh, going to be doing paintings where I use special techniques that I've learned over the years. Now, in today's video, I'm just doing uh, br dry brush with a little bit of water to pull the dark color over to give us the light, light to dark look. And on the hummingbird itself, on the body, I painted it all one color, one solid color. And then I went back with a paper towel that I had crumpled up a little bit to get to the size I wanted to lift. And then I just lifted out some of the green paint while it was still wet so that we'd have a light and dark there too. And that's to show a couple of techniques on how you can do uh, blending and, and uh, shading. Now, other techniques I will be introducing as I go along. If there's something you of interest for you that you're really curious as to how you could do that, um, I will do special videos uh, on that with maybe two or three different techniques to create that look. Um, I've got some uh, sunflowers that I've painted and I'll be doing one of those in uh, 
one of the upcoming weeks here soon. And uh, there are several ways to get the look of the seeds in the sunflower. And I'll be showing you uh, a few of those when I paint those. Um, I've been painting in watercolor off and on for about oh, 25, 30 years. And I've learned a lot of different techniques that I want to pass along. So, uh, and that's why I'm using YouTube because I can reach more people this way. And uh, I was doing workshops and, and uh, classes but you only reach a very limited number of people that way. And there's a lot of people out there that would like to know how to do this. And I've got the experience, so why not pass it on? Um, and uh, <coughs> Oh, man, my throat is so dry. Anyway, the painting today, well, I, I really love painting hummingbirds. Um, my neighbor has a, a couple hummingbird feeders out there, and I've got my camera set up. And uh, I uh, can zoom in and take pictures of the hummingbirds, so I've got lots of reference materials. And our backyard here which is where I get a lot of my, my uh, pictures for the birds that I paint. We have a fenced-in backyard for my two little dogs. I don't know if you could hear them barking in the background. But we have two little dogs. They're just the cutest little guys. But uh, anyway, the backyard is fenced in. And I use wood for the fence which allows a lot of birds that we get around here to land and and sit on my fence posts and I've got pictures of cardinals and blue jays and little chickadees and sparrows and the robins it's like oh wow it's just so much fun to sit back there and watch the birds and stuff so uh, I got a lot of reference material there and I'm going to be painting some of those too for the YouTube channel here. And uh, all of my paintings are for sale. Uh, you can check them out on Etsy. Uh, I've got a Etsy shop over there on the Etsy channel. and. Uh, We'll, uh, if you have any requests there, you can leave me a message there. But I, I want to teach. I really want to teach how to do this stuff. So if there's something you really, really want to see, just leave a comment below. And, uh,. I'll see how soon I can get it. And I will post. So you want to check back every once in a while. I'll, I, I'll post when I should have this done for you. And uh, that's how I get my ideas, too. Is I, I pick out things that I want to paint or I want to show people how to do. And then people give me requests and say, hey, how do I do this or how do I do that? And uh, so I'll be doing the videos every week from now on. And we'll see what kind of response we get. It's fun learning how to do this. I mean, I have, this is like my, I don't know, 17th video. And the programs I've had before weren't quite as spectacular as the one I've got now and it has so many features on it 
So I'm learning and how to do the videos, and it's just uh, sometimes it gets a little overwhelming. But I uh, I I promise I'll have the videos every week, and I'm gonna keep my word on that. But we're getting close to the end here. The uh, hummingbird. Now, when I do the the beak and the eye on the hummingbird, I don't make a round eye. Um, I don't make it a complete circle. I leave an op a little teeny open spot for the white point. And I found that by doing that, the eye seems to look more realistic and three-dimensional. So that about wraps it up for this week. Um, we'll hope to see you next week with a new video. And don't forget to subscribe if you like the channel and please leave comments uh, so I know what you want to see. So take care and have a great week. See you then.